Hello everyone, my name is Supo. In this video, I would like to show you how to implement some glitch effects in Unity URP. Now for that, we need like a URP based project for sure. Uh, if you already have one set up, good. I don't have one, so we're gonna make a new one. And while that is going on, let me explain to you about some things in the background. So I've created this URP glitch package, which is actually based on this package. Uh, which is the URP glitch package for the URP thing from here, mount a stretch, which is actually based on another package. Uh, this is Kano glitch. This is, uh, he's the one who made all of this actually, but this was for the previous render pipeline, the old one. And then this guy ported it for URP, but then I had like issues actually implementing it. So I made a tutorial so that, well, you won't have the issues. Now what I've done is, um, I have packaged some of the files, like all the important files inside of this package. So just get it from the download link in the description, something I'll probably upload it to my GitHub. And then like after the, this completely loads, I'll show you how to set it up. So I'm going to wait for that. Finally opened up. Now let's set it up. So we're going to have this thing. And inside this few things. Um, the first one was actually not important, but I clicked on it because they all kind of look the same. Uh, let's import a custom package. As you people can anticipate, this is very <laughs> not scripted. So we have the URP glitch. Now we have to change the render renderer 2d i'm using a 2d renderer because it's a 2d project but if you have a 3d project it should still be fine we're gonna add that and it's gonna give us an error but that error is not an issue because we just have to add the shader here we'll add the digital as well add the digital shader and now this thing is done we just need a um, let's, let's add like a few squares here so that we have like some things around and let's change the light a bit so that we knew the, know the light is working because sometimes the lights do not work, they break and in this we are not going to make it break. So in your pick I have provided a sample scene profile which we are going to be using on the post process we are just going to call this post and we are just going to call it post and add a volume to it this we are just going to drag and drop and it will like set up everything by itself so let me just showcase it wow that does not look cool enough let me change the color wait where is the yep so i can and i want my black this off black okay thanks yeah this is not working now that is understandable because i did not set up post processing here and now Entailism. That's for some reason that is very important. <laughs> I don't know why. But if you don't use anti-aliasing, it does not work. So you have to do those things to make it work. It's like an old school adventure game. <laughs> so yeah, now everything is working. You have all of this glitch effects ready for you. You can access them via code. That's a digital one. Showcase like file corruptions and stuff. So that's it. It works. Let me recap what we had to do. So you just copy the Unity package, go to settings, and you change the, you know, the renderer that you are using by adding the renderer feature. And then you create a post process, give the volume, take this um, profile, put it into this thing. It will generate all of the stuff. Go to main camera. Turn on post-processing and turn on anti-aliasing, otherwise it does not work.
in when I was testing this out, when I did not have ventilation on, sometimes it would just you know flip the whole image, like flip the screen, it would be upside down. But here, like it just it it was just not working. So, anyways, that was it. Hope you find it interesting and useful. I'll be um, posting more game dev stuff. So please subscribe if you want to. And I'll see you next next time. Um, bye bye.